Hey, how's it going everybody? Cub Fan here. Welcome to episode 182 of Cub Fan's Minecraft Let's Play. And today, guys, we are precariously situated above a giant pool of lava in the nether without uh, any sort of ender pearls or <laughs> really anything that would possibly save us if we are blasted into the the lava by a gas. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish up this nether rail here today. Uh, it's quite a long project. We're more than halfway done now. Uh, we got a little bit done on the stream on Wednesday. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue to build this up and hopefully uh, have this done by the end of the episode. So guys, we are out here at the Guardian Farm and I just completed the Guardian Rail Line. So let's go ahead and take a look in the nether at that. So we'll go on through the portal here. I also made another rail line which I'll show you. So uh, yeah, we come through here. First thing you'll notice is this portal is now a 3x3. Uh, rather than just the standard 2x3, so that's changed a little bit. Here's the actual nether rail design here. Um, so again, this is about 700 blocks away from the nether castle. Uh, let me just get this back in position here. The way it works, you just hop in, hit the button, you're launched off, and we're actually traveling through uh, glass blocks right now. Can't really tell except for when you view it from like a side angle. But yeah, you got the nice little nether rail design here, and then right here, let me just jump out here. There we go. Right here we have a intersection. This is a three-way intersection. Uh, here we have a trapped chest and you'll see down here the rail line switches if you open whether depending on whether or not you open the the trapped chest because that's sending a signal that you can barely barely see it but uh, yeah this basically allows you to uh, go in any of these uh, two directions from any uh, other direction you're coming in from. So, say we're coming in from our nether castle. If we want to go to the guardian farm, just simply hop on in and do nothing. Just let it go. That's the default method. Uh, let me see if I can get this back. There we go. Uh, yeah, and then if we want to go to the mega taiga biome down this way, if we want to go there, simply hop in, open up the chest, and there we go. We're on our way to the mega taiga bi biome. So, let me bail out here. Need to get this cart back. And yeah, this this line here, by the way, goes on for about another, I would say, good 600, 700 blocks in this direction. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really long line in itself. Uh, but let me show you the uh, completed nether rail line, this, this decorated part here, uh, from this point here back to the base so I'll just speed this up two times so that it doesn't take too long but uh, yeah it's a pretty long build so let's go ahead and ride on through it So there we go. That is the entire nether rail line done. The guardian line done, I should say. Um, I, I do plan to decorate the Mega Taiga line also. Uh, a different sort of style. Maybe like an overworld type style. But uh, for now, I think that's good with just one, <laughs> one line decorated. One part of the line decorated. Because it does take a really long time to do that. Um, also, let me just uh, turn back my sounds. Turn my sound back up. For some reason, the players controls the minecart sounds. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did um, fix this part here. This used to be all stone brick, and there used to be stone brick on the outside here as well. But as you can see, we got string up there now. That will protect us from gas strikes from this direction. And we got string above here and string over here. I think I do need one more... Yeah, column of string here, and then one more column of string across the top to completely seal it off. But, um, yeah, we are now protected by the power of string, because ghasts can't see through string very well here. Uh, I would demonstrate it, but I don't think a ghast is around right now. 
Uh, but yeah, we're somewhat protected from ghasts with that string there, so that's that's good. Uh, and also got rid of that ugly stone brick that was over there. So, let's go ahead and head, head on back to the overworld now. I believe... I believe last time... Let me, uh... Just walk out of here. I believe last time that we... I said that we would name this puppy in here. So a lot of you suggested some really great names. Uh, some of you wanted me to incorporate my name into the dog's name. Uh, but others of you wanted me to incorporate something to do with the nether. Because uh, he's, he was in the nether for so long, poor guy. Aw. Uh, but yeah, I think that was a good idea. So we'll name him something with regards to the nether. Um, and one name in particular stuck out to me. It was suggested by Victor Kertz and Lego Animator 21 and that name is Blaze. So obviously Blaze in the Nether and Blaze is actual uh, actually a pretty decent name for a dog, I feel. So let's go ahead and grab a name tag. We should also change his collar color. What color does he have right now? Orange. We should change that to like yellow or something like that. So let's get this name tag. We're going to name this name tag Blaze. So B L A Z E Blaze. There we go. And we'll come back on over here. So there's Blaze. There he is. All right. Nice. Cool. Sit down there, boy. There you go. And let's go ahead and get uh let's get some dye. Some yellow dye. Hello slimes. Perpetually <laughs> down here. There's always slimes down here. Get out of here, guy. Dang it. Oh, man. So many of these. So many of these little guys here. Wow. Alright, I'll leave him down here. He can stay there. Let's go back up. There we are. Alright. And let's put his collar to a yellow color. There we go. Blaze. Nice. Cool. Alright. We'll make him a little doghouse, too. Uh, eventually, but uh, right now what I want to do, I'm going to pop that back in there. I'm going to go ahead and gather some resources, and we're going to head out to Zero Zero. We're going to continue work on the library. Uh, actually, I think I have most of the resources I need out there, although I do need some acacia wood logs. So I'll, far I'll farm some, uh, some trees here and then get out there and uh, start working on the library. All right, all right, all right, guys. So, uh, I brought Blaze out here to Zera Zera. He's going to sit right here by the bed and uh, keep watch. But uh, today we're going to work on a couple buildings out here. So let me get over here and show you what we've done so far. So first of all, uh, we're still working on the orange section. So we still have a hotel to build, library to build, and windmill and observation point. So that's what we still have left to do. So I went ahead and sort of laid out a blueprint for the hotel. Um, this is actually going to be a hotel design based off of the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. So here's a picture of that. So it's going to be based off of that hotel there. And what I'm thinking here is this. So I have like sort of like a build up here uh, and then like a casino floor type thing. Uh, maybe with like some, some a couple of different like little slot machines and such. Uh, we'll have to have like a, like a desk as well for like check in stuff like that. Then we'll have sort of steps, probably right here actually, leading up to the the top floors. Um, we will have the rooms and such, uh, and we want to have you know beds in all the rooms and make the rooms look nice. Uh, so it's going to be a multi-floor uh, hotel, and it should be pretty good once it's done. Um, but we're also going to have a pool back here, so the pool will be centered around this half slab. So this whole area here will be like a little pool area for the villagers to uh, sort of party in, <laughs> and then. That'll transition into like a this pathway over here with a theater down below. I think that'll be really cool. So um, that's going to be the hotel right there, and then the library. We've already actually started a little bit. We started this during the live stream on Wednesday. Uh, you can see we got some uh, some bookshelves in here. Sort of laid out the uh, yeah laid out the the blueprint for this. And we're going to have like a little help desk here with librarians, librarian villagers in it, as many libraries have. Uh, we'll also have like a second story with more books. And I also want to have outside here, I want to have a little reading area. 
down here by the river. So like the idea is you could grab a book from the from the library and come out here and read next to the river. Soothing flowing river. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. And then we'll also have on the second story we'll have another little section here, like a little um I guess it's uh like a little patio area here. And yeah, you can also read on that as well. So we'll have umbrellas, we'll have greenery down there, and same thing up here, chairs, umbrellas, stuff like that, and then more books back here. Uh, we'll probably put a stairway about right here or so, uh, so that will be cool. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and spruce up the outside of this as well, because right now, cyan stain clay, uh, it's just not cutting it. We need something a little bit better to, sp to spruce it up a little bit. So I'll try a couple different patterns here. Uh, we tried a couple things during the live stream, but nothing really stuck. So hopefully we can make something that looks pretty good. But um, I'm going to go ahead and keep on working on this library. Uh Get some more bookshelves. I get all my bookshelves from Villager Trading, by the way. So that's the way to do it, in my opinion. But yeah, I'll make some more progress on the library, and I'll be back once I'm done. All right, everybody. So we have sort of a cool design now on the outside of the library for the exterior wall. And this is actually a variation on a design sent to me on Twitter by Hydro. So thanks, Hydro. Um, let me show you how to build it. This is actually a really simple sort of uh, design, but it does look pretty cool. So... I'll just show you how to build it here real quick. So first of all, you have two stairs facing each other just like that. Forms uh, sort of a bowl shape. Then you skip a block and then do the same thing. Two stairs sort of facing each other like that. Uh, then you take your acacia wood, put it right there in the center, and then a stair on top of that. And you have upside down stair and slab. And then same thing on the other side, upside down stair and slab. Very nice. Then we go ahead and get up here above your window. So your window goes in there, upside down stair. And then uh, right here, uh, what we do is, what do we do here? <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we have acacia wood all along this top part right there. And then once you're up here on the same level as your upside down stair here, you just repeat the pattern. So two stairs facing each other, two stairs facing each other, upside down stair slab and then this is where we're going to skip that part for right now get back up there and then upside down stair slab and then I'm going to go ahead and put in um, a colored block here right there and that's it so let's get down there and take a look see what it looks like yeah pretty cool so you get like all these little in intricate little patterns and coves, alcoves in the uh, in the design itself. So yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now obviously for, you know, two stories, you just basically take that and flip it and double it. <laughs> that's all you got to do. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with for the exterior design. Uh, I've started working on the interior a little bit too. Uh, you see we got the oak doors up now, which looks cool. We got some sea lantern lighting on the floor. Might cover this up with carpets just to make it look uh, look nice. Uh, and we got the second floor starting to go up as well. So things are happening. It's looking good. And I'll be back once I've made more progress. Okay, everyone. So I got most of the library done. You'll see that in a moment. But right now I'm thinking more of like what we want to put into the interior of the library for the interior design. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe some cobwebs. We'll put like some paper and some books in item frames. Uh, that'll look nice. But I also want to have um, a couple of banners. So, one banner that I'm going to put in there is the hand banner, is what I like to call it. It's basically like a hand holding an apple. Some of you might have seen it before. Um, but it, it just, it seems like something that would go in a library. Um, let me show you what it is here. Uh, let's see, we need orange. We got orange. We need light blue. We need red. And we need brown. And I think that's it. Right? Yeah, okay. So we made a white banner beforehand, and this is going to be sort of like the posters you might see at a library, like a motivational poster, like grow grow your world or expand your horizons or something like that. So this is going to start off with a orange fade from the top down, and then we're going to need a bottom bottom brown, and then top... Yeah, top uh, light blue. And then this is where it gets kind of tricky here, I 
think. Yeah. So then, then we need red circle. Right. Okay. And you can see this is sort of starting. So like it's gonna come in from the from this side here. And then we're gonna need. Let's see. I think it's enchanted apple and make that blue. Right? Yeah, like that. Just like that. So you can see like the hand holding the apple there and we have to get rid of the side bit. So we'll just put uh, yellow around the side. So let's do that. And we'll see what this looks like. I hear slimes. There we go. Yeah, so there's the hand holding the apple right there. Pretty darn sweet. So uh, let's let's copy this. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we have the stuff to copy it. So let's just do that. I'm gonna make a couple copies here. So we'll keep one here, and then we'll take two out to the uh, the library. We'll, put this, we'll go ahead and put this one up here. Why not? Boop. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right. So I'm going to see if we can come up with some other banner designs. Uh, I'll look online see if I can find some other ones too. Maybe like a book design or something. And uh, we'll put these up in the library. Alright everyone, are you ready? So, here is the fully completed library. So, this is looking fantastic. I think it's one of the best builds we've done in Zera Zera so far. I mean, look at that. That looks fantastic. We got uh, dark, dark oak wood on the roof. Spruce on the sides, acacia wood on the sides, looking good, looking really good. And it even looks like a library. I love it, I love it. So, let's check, let's take a look at this. Um, so first of all, we got a little book return right here, so you just toss in your books to be returned, and it takes them inside here, and puts them in a chest, there they are. Uh, so that's kind of a use, useful little feature there. We got the, uh, the motivational poster right here, in the form of the banner with the hand on it. Just close these doors up. Uh, yeah, we got some book bins. So these are like where you, there would be like stacks of books in them. Uh, like so, you got book returns there. You got book donations right there. Book and item frame here. You got some storage. You got a furnace, crafting table. Uh, got a little area here for the librarian to actually walk back here. Uh, a little flower. Obviously, we got some books here. We got some cobwebs. Uh, we can come through here. Here's the uh, the book banner here, and we have an enchantment table. Very nice. Uh, more cobwebs, more storage, another enchantment table. I'll get to the outside in a second here, but let's go to the second story. Yeah, we got some windows here you can look out of. Kind of cool. Here's the second story right here. Uh, we got, again, the same hand banner, motivational poster thing that is frequently seen in libraries. Uh, another enchantment table. We got uh, cactus. We got, like, this little island thing. Which is like where you could put like books to check them out and whatnot. Um, so yeah, you got some ladders on these bookshelves. You can climb up them. Uh, just look around here so you can see up on top and everything. Got some storage here. Uh, this this notice here says "Quiet, please," because we are in a library. Uh, and these are like the uh, library stacks, big tall areas of a lot of books put in here. And I'll, I'll put in some. Um, I'll put in some working bookshelves here. Uh, for instance, like I'll put one like right here probably. I'll probably put another one downstairs somewhere. And uh, that way we can actually store books in the library, like real books, like short stories and stuff. We got some ladders going up here, up the stacks, so you can get on top of the stacks and jump around a little bit. Kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go out this way. Uh, this is the outer reading area here. See, we got some seats and everything. So, yeah, people can read out here on the uh, the deck of the library. It's a pretty nice little area there. Very nice. You got a good view of the river and such. So that's good. We got this little protective railing around there so people don't fall off. <laughs> that's always good. All right, so let's go ahead and go on down. Uh, let's go to the outside down here. Uh, let's make our way through here and through here out to here. So here is the outdoor patio of the library. So you can come out here and read. Uh, you see we got the peonies sort of blocking the desert. Uh, we got some grass spreading here so this will eventually be all green instead of just dirt. 
But you also got some umbrellas protecting you in case it rains on you suddenly or something like that. And you got, yeah, these lilacs over here protecting the view so you don't see this, this desert over here. Uh, and then you got, yeah, the river right next to you so you can sit down and enjoy a good book. So, fantastic. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, as far as the entrance here, I'm going to hold off on doing like a path up to the entrance because uh, once we get the hotel up next episode, um... I think I'll probably make like a dirt path that comes down, like we'll probably lower this down and then we'll probably have like a, a coarse dirt path that branches off here and comes and connects up to the library and the hotel. But uh, I'm going to hold that off for next time. I'm going to have Blaze come on with us and we are going to go see who today's highlighted channel is. So come on Blaze, let's go back to the house and I'll meet you guys back down in the mineshaft. So, today's highlighted channel is Hydro. And Hydro, again, was the guy who gave us the, partially gave us the design for the uh, library exterior, which I really love. So, thank you, Hydro, for that. I appreciate it. This is your mind shift. Let's see how you do against the other competitors. So, unfortunately, we didn't get any diamonds from Hydro's mind shaft today, but we did get the following resources you see in my inventory here. But, uh, yeah, looks like 1.9 snapshots should be coming out sometime in June, hopefully. <laughs> Even though I've been saying that for the past six months, and we haven't seen a single snapshot yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have been getting some teasers for 1.9. So Dinnerbone recently tweeted out this image. And this is uh, confirmation from Dinnerbone that he is adding a lefty option to, uh, to Minecraft 1.9. So you'll be able to play as a left-handed player, so that is really cool. Uh, you'll also be able to hold blocks in your in both hands at the same time, uh, but you won't be able to like dual wield, so you couldn't have like two swords or something like that. But uh, still, it'd be cool to have like the ability to place torches with one hand and hold a sword with the other. Um, that might happen, but we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm hoping for 1.9 snapshots uh, very soon. Like I said, I've been saying that for six months, but still, it'd be nice to have them. Um, and yeah, I think that uh, is going to be all for me today, guys. Let's get the map updated real quick here. So we can see the library on the map. So I'm just going to grab these and update these real quick. And <laughs> that's one of the bugs that needs to be fixed in 1.9 right there. Um, and I think that will cover it. Yeah, okay. That'll work. So let me update this map, and I'll be back with one final word. All right, so here is the updated map of Zerzera, Zera, and here is the library we built this episode right there. Probably one of my favorite builds so far in Zerzera. Zera. It looks really cool, and it fits the library theme super, super well. So I'm really happy with it. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for me today. Also glad we got the Nether Rail project done, because that was a huge project that took a ton of time. I didn't show much of it on video, but uh, trust me when I say it took a long time going back and forth, gathering resources, and putting those resources down in the exact spot they need to be. Uh, so happy that is done as well. So more redstone and technical stuff next time because it's been a while since we've done some of that. And I think that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. This has been Cup Fan and Blaze. Goodbye.